Anna was trying to j Anna was jumping the gun. Ah! He reached it while he was still growing. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to a special Korean barbecue episode of Fung Bros Food. Just like a lot of other Asian foods in America, the growth and evolution has been exponential. I remember just several years ago, there was like little to no Korean barbecue, and if they were, they're not that good. But now we got one of the most popular ones in Kaharong, which is very advanced and very good. You guys, we had a debate in the car ride over here, okay? Pork versus beef, beef versus pork. He did all the I had to beef. I, oh, I swear babe. I had to break you guys up because David, you team pork. I'm team pork. So today we're gonna be debating pork versus beef. Hop hop, hop boys. boys, let's go. I feel like Hangadong changed the game. It's kind of like one of those chains of Korean barbecue that deliver enough authenticity. You know how much $11.99 Korean barbecue all you can eat we had in K-Town? And this was like five years ago, six years ago. Dude, that, that one spot, Madang Se. Oh my god. Man, it was $8.99 for lunch. Crazy. That's when you're just trying to fill the seats for lunch. $8.99. There's no way you're making money. This is the, probably the most popular kind of commercial brand out there that's trusted. I would compare this to almost like the Heidi Lao for the Chinese hot pot world. Aiden, are you from Korea? Yes, I'm from Korea. Actually. Oh, cool. How is Korean barbecue in Korea different? Like, is there less beef? Or, oh, like, uh, how is it a little bit different? Because I think most likely Korea likes pork, pork. Because it's more cheaper. In Korea, the like beef is really, really, really beef expensive. Is, yeah, really, it's pretty expensive. I mean, yeah. No, we have to understand that in America, beef is super cheap compared to other countries. It's super high quality. Super high quality and super cheap. That's one point for team beef, man. The, the beef is already more valued That's over true. there. You know That's like, true. I would say true. Because yeah. you know when we cook green barbecue, I'm like, it's like, one it's like a one stir fry. Yeah, one <laughs> it's a stir fry on the grill. I, I've never seen anybody cook it so uniform. So this is the brisket. This yeah. is probably the most uh, classic cut in America. Right? Brisket is always number one. It's served first. Because it's a non-marinated and then it's cut thinly sliced and then it cooks faster. And that is all ready for you guys. Awesome. Brisket. There's a little bit of salt. So they tell you to try it just with salt first so you really get the feel for the quality of meat without dipping it in sauce. <laughs> you know, that brisket was good. I don't know if you guys felt this way. It kind of tasted like a burger. Egg time. Oh, that egg is good. Yeah. And it's not even cooked all the way on top. It's still a little gooey. Okay, so Aiden is now ch changing the grill because he's about to cook the beef tongue. That's the good thing about premium uh, non all you can eat Korean barbecues is that they keep it fresh by using a new grill for every meat. You guys, beef tongue is very controversial to mm -hmm. me okay. because at all you can eat spots, sometimes the beef tongue can be terrible. Uh, the tongue looks very nice. This looks nice. Why do you cook the beef tongue on the uh, mesh grill? So it tastes like more grilling. Okay. You get some of that flame royal taste. Exactly. Beef, Beef tongue. A little bit of salt, just a dab. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm. oh. You got it. it. Does it taste at all like you're making out with a cow? Bruh. Yeah, First I can't look all, at Beef tongue to say it no more. We're just throwing shots at Team Beef, huh? <laughs> but it's chewy enough like where you can, you know, break it down. How do you uh, wipe it on the grill? Oh. I've seen you kind of like. Stroke it on the grill first. Oh, because otherwise it It'll gets stick. stuck to the grill. Ah. Yeah, I don't want that like messy thing happen. I love the color of this radish. I don't know if it has to be this red or this purple, but it's dope. Wow. Yeah. Unmarried and short rib. Just a little bit of salt first. Oh, tender, tender, tender. Oh man, the marbling is crazy. Deep fizz. I got the radish and the scallion sprout salad right here. The unmarinated short rib just went best by itself. Yeah. For me, I think the last cut, to me, kind of lets you know why I'm team pork. Even though that was an amazing, fatty, marbly cut, I felt like, I mean, obviously a pork, one would have half more flavor. Oh. 
magic sometimes. It's yeah. Hi. Right. The communal cold non spicy wow, kimchi hey, soup. Nobody's no backwash, the palate no cleanser. No, no, no gargling. <laughs> Not too much lip action. It is very appealing, but I'm saying this is just like ribeye steak is like you can get that. Yeah. You can buy this at the store. Yeah. You can't buy the non marinated short rib that's marbled ribeye on its own. Wow. Mm. I like the grain. The, the middle part usually more uh, more chewy, more a little, dry. A little bit more lean. Yeah. And then the sides, you get like half fat, half lean. The outside skirt is actually my favorite cut of beef at Korean barbecue. I have high expectations of this. Ah. You see the grain and how big it is and how clear it is. This is done. Oh, give me one second. Oh, Andrew was trying to j Andrew was jumping the gun. Ah, he reached for ah. it while he was still growing. Outside, Outside skirt. Mmm. Wow, wow. You get a little bit of that actual real barbecue like char. Oh my gosh. That one's gotta take the cake so far. Honey, glazed, char, garlic. You can see it, you can see the glaze sizzling on the mesh grill. So more like like plain pot, plain. Fire closer to the fire. Hmm? Angles, man. It's all about angles. See? You know, if you move, it would look more natural. No, this way you get out optimal angles. Right. Seasoned Season marinated, marinated short rib. rib. Wow. Oh, woo! You don't even need to dip anything in that. Yup. You just straight up. Very strong. It's soft. You know why I think you really like this, Del? Because you're Cantonese. And this kind of tastes more like chashu. Oh, it does, right? You take this over chashu. Oh, for sure. Oh, you know why? Yeah, I mean chashu is pork. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mayonnaise dish, right? Oh, no. so likely it comes with the bowl. Oh, okay. It's uh, marinated with the uh, like teriyaki sauce kind of. Here, thing. sure. Oh, here, bone out, bone out, David. Oh, I just have this image in my head that things. It the bone in tastes better. That is true, you know it does, it does. Marinated short rib with the bone in. All right, so it's a different marinade than yours. The different. last one we had was a glaze. This is more of a marinade. I think to me, there's something very carnal and primal about the bones. And I think that it's um, it's almost a, a must for me. I kind of like it when it's like, oh, that was that part that looks like Manhattan. That was that part that looked like China. Mm. <laughs> You want to see the world in that piece of meat. Okay, so I like this one right off the bat, guys. You know why? It's called Beef Belly 2. It's got onions on top. I'm all about the onions. I'm about that scallion life, green onion life. Yeah, yeah. Jalapeno. Beef Belly. Oh, the belly. Mm, 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 mm. Eddie, wow. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Wow. This one actually really good. Beef brisket times 10. It's almost like you're eating thinly sliced fat with just a little bit of crispy meat in there. All right guys, that closes it up for our beef section. Now beef we didn't brown. eat too much, I'm not too full. I got room for pork because I want to give it proper judgment. I've got to say that the rival opposing team of beef. Strong showing, right? It was a strong showing. Strong sh they serve more you beef know, here. You know. Basically, pork has a very bad dunkability rate because it's very fatty. Weighs you down, makes you feel like you just want to take a nap, you know, rather than go to the gym and work out. Whereas beef is uh, easier to break down. Hey, when they say beefy, that's a different connotation than porky. You call someone porky, that's not the beefy goes compliment. all right here. Yeah, it, it looks, looks like some type of fish, yeah. It does, it looks like, like, like upper pork or something. Yeah, upper yeah. Upper. If you want to grill other veggies next to the meat, the pork is a good time to do it because the pork is going to release so much fat onto the grill that you can actually grill a bunch of other veggies. Are you, are you team beef or team pork? You have to pick one. Team pork. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Also more sustainable. Did you guys know that a lot of cows, because uh, the beef farms, they're farting and putting a lot of methane, letting the ozone layer drop down on the... It's a, I don't I believe, believe it's it. cow farts, okay. man. Oh, man, Dave. All right, environmentally okay. making a case for I'm pork. Just I'm just saying. You guys, I, I you guys got you. 
it's like I think when you're when you're really into basketball, right, and your son is playing on the team, it's like you want to coach him from the side. You can't help but try to jump in there. It's like LeVar Ball. Those are the worst dads. Poor Poor Chow. Chow. I think it could be a little more thirsty though. That's good. It's good. I need some salad. It's good. I believe the pork activates the rest of the accoutrements in a way the beef does not activate it. Because the beef don't need it because it's so good already by itself. Like, do you see what I'm saying? It's putting us all into no, no, production no. mode. No, no, for sure, for sure. The pork job is really good with the sauce. It has motivated. See, I knew. You know what it? It put me in attack mode. The pork put me in attack mode. Pork to pork. Okay. Strong stock for the pork. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Pork is probably better for eating with the other condiments and side dishes because it's saltier, it's fattier, so all the wraps, it balances it out it nicely. Makes more sense, right? Remember when we were eating some of the beef, we were like, oh, I wish I didn't even eat it with anything because it's probably better on its own. To me, pork is like being in New York City. I don't know. It just. It makes you, it does activate. You've got to add wow. stuff. It's your pork belly. Woo! Another good one. Yo, all right guys, one of my favorite things to do at Korean barbecue now is to take the jalapenos and dip it in some of the sesame oil or the pork fat and grill it. So this, these slices of pork belly are smaller than the usual slab that you might get. Yes. The garlic is grilled, look at this. You're like, ooh, I'm gonna hit you with the conceited <laughs> face stuff. Mini, Mini pork, pork belly. belly. Just a little dabby there. A dabity dab dab. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at the colors I have there. Red, green, pork. The I never I never knew pork was a color, Andrew. Hey, it's the it's the eighth color of the rainbow. Pork. And your full size. Wow. Whoa. About triple, maybe four times larger than the Four times. Yeah, we got larger. to, we got to. Like I said, gastronomy activated. The pork has brought out the artist in you. Pikachu. You can get a piece of pork that doesn't break down that easily. It's kind of firm and a little bit hard to chew. Sometimes it's chewy. It is true. So if you're looking for an eatability, you know, an easy yeah. eat. That's what I meant. Pork is, no, eatability on pork is a little hard. David, how are you feeling about this full-size samgyeopsal? Man, it is looking much thicker than the cuts you get at the all-you-can-eat spots. And let me say this. This is going to be harder to eat, too. <laughs> It might taste good, but it might be hard to eat. Can I dive into Iron Chef mode real quick? Oh, chris -on, I was uh, talking to the chef earlier, and she said that this full-size pork is about three to four times thicker than the mini pork. il i sam sa o il i sam sa o Which obviously sounds similar to i er sa su Korean, in general, it rolls off the tongue a little bit easier than Mandarin, where you kind of do i er sa su Do you know why, how come you, you guys do not serve the slab like other people do? It's a little bit more like thicker. How it's sizzling on top. Like there's so much juice and fat that on the top of it, there's like little pools of fat that sizzle. Full size pork belly. Oh, you're right, I gotta dip it. I took it out of my mouth. I'll be first to say I like the mini one better. Now, I'm not gonna lie, guys. You know, I'm team pork, but I gotta play the devil's advocate and say the eatability on Slowing this. Slowing you down, right? Slowing you down. I really thought the full-size pork belly with the sprout and scallion salad was fire for me. Oh. I think this is uh, more comparable to either the ribeye or the, uh, right? I mean, the yeah, ribeye, ribeye. I would say yeah. visually, it definitely looks like a ribeye pork version. Pork, pork collar. collar. That's good. That's good. Eatability mm -hmm. there. Yo, I thought it, it, it tastes like ribeye. It do. Mm, that's good. All right, you guys, Ooh. we have reached the end of our epic battle between beef and pork here at Kangen Oh, man, that's also an epic battle with our, just our stomachs oh, and our man. blood pressure right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I always had respect for beef, but wow, I got him. I really got to tip my hat. 
hey, to the, the different cuts of beef here. Marka. I still think that if you made me come and just pick one thing, I'd pick the pork chop. Okay. Because I'm not mad. because what it would do, it was it would allow me to really sample everything. For a single bite of meat, beef hands down, outside skirt, ribeye, killed it, murked it. So based off what you guys said, I think it is better here because they have more cuts and it's easier to eat. I mean, beef. I would say in general, Korean barbecue in America is more beef based. However, I was told that in Korea, it is more pork based because yeah. pork is cheaper yeah. in Asia. But since beef is so plentiful, so good, and so affordable in America, it's like you gotta almost, this is like, if there's one country where you come and eat Hella beef, just unhealthy amounts of beef, it's America. My favorite of all time is Stands True, as the one that I thought was gonna be my favorite, is the outside skirt. By itself or dressed up, it's just on another level. My top pick has gotta be the seasoned marinated short rib. It has everything, pretty much from the seasoning to the soft and tenderness of the cut. For myself, I like the pork jowl, obviously still, you know, team pork. And as far as beef goes, I think a sleeper pick is probably the beef belly. Yeah, the beef belly, yeah. It tastes, beef but it, just, it tastes just, you know, it just comes down to personal preference. Yep. If you have other metrics, dunkability, you have to take that into consideration. I'm, I'm basically eating foods that allow you to dunk and be more explosive. Food's optimal for dunking, yeah. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that video here at Kang It On. Beef versus pork, all you can eat versus a la carte. In the comments down below, please let us know, are you team pork or are you team beef? And also let us know in the comments where you think Korean barbecue can go. What are some things that they can add on to it? Or maybe what are some traditional things that they're not doing over in America that they only do in Korea? Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Go check out Nelly Nell on Instagram. Go check out David and Andrew from the Fung Bros here at Kangadong. And thank you so much to everybody here. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. But we have to acknowledge that Andrew looks like a skinny version of the comedian Kangadong. All right, can you zoom in real quick? Kangadong, Kangafoon. <laughs> no wonder you get mistaken for Korean sometimes. Yep, I look like a Korean comedian. Well, you're the only person I know that's been mistaken for both Bobby Lee and Steven Yoon. Yes. That is crazy, man. You know, I always thought it was interesting. That I, they, they looked, I don't think they get it.